Hello everyone. Uh, today I'll be planting some shrub roses uh, into pots. So I want to show you that. Um, I did get a really good price for Sarah Raven's roses. So I did get about uh, seven different shrubs that I want to be using for their scent, for their beautiful flowers, so either the color or the shape. Um, so today we'll be planting bare root trap roses. So this is how the roses came in, packaged in this bag. So I think we have 10 of them, something, something like that, like different varieties. And I have a bucket prepared there with water. And just to show you, this is how they come in packaged. So the roots are wrapped up in the plastic bag so they don't dry out too much. And then you have the stalks. This is uh, Coco Loco. This is a kind of mauve, uh, kind of beige pinky color. Very nice, very popular with florists. Um, and yeah, so I'll get rid of the bag and just stick uh, all of the roots in the water for at least two hours. Um, we are just about to go out. So I'll put them in and they will get enough moisture in before I plant them out. So let's get rid of this and stick them all in water. Brilliant. They're all in water now. Biggie is just checking on them. <laughs> yeah, basically you just submerge all the roots into water I might put a little bit more in the bucket um, and yeah leave them in as I said for minimum two hours uh, mine will be in I think for about five or something perfectly fine they need to get plump and ready to be planted so yeah I'll come back when they all have been hydrated and we'll plant them up. I just thought before I start planting them up, I'll just quickly show you the exact uh, specimens that I got. So I got Rosa Doris Testerman, uh, Rosa Timeless Purple, uh, Rosa Chocolate, Rosa Rhapsody in blue which is over there uh, then I told you about Rosa Coco Loco and Rosa Louise Odier and these are all like um, shades of pink orange purple uh, kind of mauve creamy and I already have a white one in so for now these should be perfect for making bouquets or just as like kind of one um, specimen of roses in a bouquet or in a you know small um, bunches of flowers okay so what we'll need for the planting because I'm planting in a pot I'm gonna put gravel on the bottom for drainage or any you know pot crocs uh, from terracotta pots or something so that will go on the bottom of the pot so pot again big enough for the roses so it has enough space for the roots um, um, all-purpose uh, peat free compost and the roses and if you do want to give it a bit more uh, kind of life then you can put a uh, soil conditioner mix it with the soil for more nutrients but this one already has some sort of feed in it so I won't do that and also so uh, to prevent f from uh, getting the fungi in the roses uh, getting spores and stuff um, you can put mycorrhiza fungi uh, in like kind of the bottom or around as you plant in the rose you can put it uh, around the roots to protect it uh, and also the, the fungi will then spread better obviously will create um, a little a little bit of a better environment for the rose to grow and then 
uh, on top if you want you can either put gravel again or mulch or just leave it for now and put compost or mulch uh, on top in spring okay starting to rain so I just quickly wanted to show you uh, if you dig in in your borders obviously make sure you dig deep enough hole uh, for the roots to kind of spread around and plant in a pot so uh, the union which is this bit here it's where the roots let me show you where the roots kind of uh, meet with the stalks with the stems this is called the union uh, that should be planted um, with a few inches of soil on top so what you will have is just having these stalks the stem uh, poking out of the soil um, so yeah I put it in like this top it up with soil and then water and then obviously don't forget to leave the uh, label on so you know what rows what variety it is uh, so let me just finish that up and I'll show you how it's done uh, when it's completed okay this is what it looks like all planted up I said don't forget your label bury the rose union to make sure it's got um, you know inch or two on top of that uh, and yeah although it might be getting quite uh, wet and everything don't forget to water and that's about it so obviously there is a lot of resources online on planting roses uh, make sure you do your research uh, a very good supplier for roses shrub roses uh, for floristry for for any kind of purpose that you want to get them for is David Austin uh, he's like the king of roses really uh, their roses are beautiful very good quality but also expensive uh, so I was looking up for sales and when I saw that Sarah Ravens got these on and they were beautiful colors obviously they're very bright colors some of them are more muted because you also need those but I I just grabbed the bargain really I know Sarah Ravens got very good stock I bought many plants from her already and she's also very good at what she's doing she's got a lot of experiences beautiful gardens beautiful plants and that podcast is also very good so yeah I know uh, that I bought from a very good supplier so maybe sometimes you know you can save money on things like this rather than spending you know premium bucks for uh, for plants I'm not saying David Austin as I said is amazing quality they have amazing roses and yeah sometimes you can save your money on things like this so yeah uh, now I'm gonna put this on the side and just um, let them deal with it as you can see they most of it seem dead already and yeah they're just dormant and you can plant roses a bare root roses anytime between November and March you know when it's still cold when they're still dormant it's perfect time for them they will look like you know dead sticks for a very long time and in spring they start sending shoots. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you will be planting some lovely roses. This is Rosa Iceberg, uh, just in case you were wondering. And this is very, very good performer. Uh, it flowers for months and months on. Uh, and it's now beginning of December and it's still flowering. So yeah, anyways, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you liked the video. So if you did, please give it a like. Uh, and if you want to support me, I also have a link to my Buy Me A Coffee um, site where you can purchase um, a cup of coffee there for me. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye bye.